I'm with head coach Chip Otten of the Coldwater Cavaliers. I'm Frank Altieri, and this is another Coach's Preview on WOSN. Coach, how does everyone look so far? Good, yeah, we feel good. We got uh, 70, 78 kids, so that's that's a good sign that we have you know, good numbers, especially at, at our level. Um, a really good senior class. I really like our guys. They're, they're smart guys that kind of get it, and several of them played last year. Six, six, seven, eight of them played a bunch last year, so I uh, feel good about that feel good about that and we've had two good scrimmages and hopefully uh, we finish that off Friday with uh, Salina in our, in our last scrimmage. I was talking to a few of your assistants and it looks like you got a great tight end and a great slot receiver this year. Uh, we got we got some good skill guys and, and, and fortunately we've had that um, Noah Miller's our big tight end he's about 6'4 220 now gained 15 20 pounds he's a really good first baseman in baseball maybe maybe even in a maybe a possible D1 guy in baseball. Um, and then we have a, we have we have some some really good slots. Um, Ross Weigel and um, and, and um, Zach McKibben. I was going to say Kyle. That's his brother from a few years ago. Um, and Ross is a senior. And then then uh, Zach is is probably our quickest, most explosive player we have. And we weren't sure uh, coming in how how he would do. Uh, we knew he had that explosion, but but man, in these two scrimmages, he's he's done really well. So so we feel like we got a guy who I call it giving him some juice that can give him some juice, and I think he scored five touchdowns in the two scrimmages on plays that you're like, wow, he, he's he's got he's got some some juice. And how do your younger players? How are they kind of adjusting to playing high school ball? The freshmen. Well, it's really new for them when they come in and and you know go from go from. Uh, playing games on Thursday afternoon and practicing really three times a week to, you know, coming in in the summer and having two days and, and, uh, but we have 25 freshmen and they were undefeated last year. So it's, it's a good group of guys that, uh, you know, that got some, got some good, but it's, it's hard for them. He's, and they don't quite get as much love and time as, as probably they would like just, just cause we're trying to get the older guys ready, but, uh, they're, they're doing well. And lastly, what did you learn last year from coaching and what did your boys learn last year from playing? Oh wow, that's a good question. Because this is 36 years for me. Um, I guess there's always um, new things you can learn. I, I, I guess off the top of my head, I can't can't think of something specifically. But um, you know, I, I guess as I've gotten older, I've continued to try to work more with the younger guys because because I think it's important for them to to see me. I have really good coaches, so a lot of times I can like doing interviews. I'd say, wow, they know what they're doing. They're, they'll take care of everything. Um, so to continue to to maybe help help the young guys and. And our guys, I guess as players, um, just there's always new situations, new things in games. Um, that sting of losing that last game, you know, we, we beat Marin in a mud bowl week 10, and then they come back and beat us in the playoffs, so, so that stings. And so, you, so you're always looking uh, new ways, different ways to maybe, maybe get those teams that, that, that get you.